Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can use a VPN on your Mac. Now, sure, I am on Windows, but it's literally the same thing no matter what device you're using. Once you learn how to use it on one device, you'll be able to use the same VPN on all the other devices. For the most part, it's all the same user interface. So let's get straight into it. But before that, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Now, I've chosen these three VPNs because I've been testing a whole bunch and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features. They all work with streaming, torrenting, and and they all secure your devices without any problems and nobody will be able to know what you're doing online but there are some differences in budget and features and whatnot so i'll talk a little bit about that to help you make a more informed decision but essentially all you need to do is download and install one of these vpns using the links below if you'd like to save a little bit more money on your first subscription once you've downloaded and installed the vpn you'll have the application as you can tell right here so you've got express vpn for example express is going to be the best option if you need something that's super easy to use so that's why i personally prefer express vpn very quick very reliable and consistent at 105 countries. And again, all you have to do is let's just say, select one of these countries, double click on the location and you are good to go. And the time to connect is so short and it's the same thing with disconnecting as you can tell right here. So this is one of the reasons why I like to use ExpressVPN. Now, as far as features, there's not really much that you want to mess with here besides understanding what a kill switch is. Now, the kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, it will disconnect you from the internet, which prevents any accidental IP leaks. Now, unfortunately, split tunneling is not available on Mac, so you don't really have to worry about that. And that's not because of the VPNs. It's just because Apple does not allow for split tunneling. It's just an Apple thing. But it'll essentially allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So it's a useful feature, but not really that necessary. But you will still get advanced protection with your Mac so you can block ads, trackers and adult sites if you have kids. As far as protocols, you can keep it on automatic or use the best available lightweight with Express, Nord Links with Nord and WireGuard with uh, Surfshark. And that's basically it as far as using the VPN. So once you've got everything configured to your preferences, let's just go to locations again. Let's say I want to connect to a different server. That's fine. I'll connect to Canada and just turn on the VPN. And if I want to check if I'm indeed connected to the right IP address or connected to the Canadian IP address, all I have to do is go to any IP finder and it'll tell you exactly where you are or at least where your internet thinks you are and it's exactly the same process by the way let's just turn this off let's just say you got nordvpn instead right you're looking for something a little bit more well-rounded you've got 91 countries you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription even though with expressvpn you'll be able to secure up to eight and you've got 105 countries but you do have a bunch of bonus features that can be very useful in a handful of situations and while it may not be as intuitive and as easy to use as expressvpn nordvpn makes up for that with all the bonus features and not to mention that the nordlinks protocol makes NordVPN, arguably the fastest VPN in the business. Let's say speed is your top priority and you want a bunch of features that you can mess with, then NordVPN is absolutely your best choice. Now, if you're looking to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, then Surfshark is your best choice, not just because of the unlimited devices, you're getting so much value with Surfshark that even if you go with the one plan, which is the higher tier plan of Surfshark, it will still be cheaper than NordVPN's standard plan. But instead with Surfshark, you're not only getting a VPN if you go for the one plan, you're getting a fully fledged antivirus system, identity protection features, safe search feature, and an alert system to support the identity protection features. So great stuff here with Surfshark. Absolutely the most value that you're going to get for the money out of all the VPNs out there, hands down. Uh, so if that's what you're looking for, Surfshark is perfect for you. But if you're looking for more features with your standard plan, and if speed is your absolute priority over everything else, then yeah, NordVPN is the perfect choice here. Now, if you're looking to feel as safe as possible and you want the most reliable and consistent and best overall VPN and easiest to use, 
then ExpressVPN is definitely your go-to choice here. And that's what I personally prefer. And that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find all the links in the description down below. And if you do end up getting any of them, I'd recommend understanding how long you might need the VPN for, because a lot of people end up spending more money going for monthly plans, thinking they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, but they do end up using it for longer than a month. And they keep resubscribing to the much more expensive rate here, as you can tell. So if you know you're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, definitely get the monthly plan. However, if you know you're going to need it for more than a month, you can use the links below to save up on your long term plan so that you can save even more money. And if you end up changing your mind, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.